Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Sony have revealed the PlayStation 5 user experience, the interface we'll be using each time we need our gaming fix. I've watched it through more times than I probably should have, but now I can give you a list of 12 things you should know about the PlayStation 5 UI. First up, the home screen. The moment you switch on your PS5, you'll be met by this prompt and then this home screen. What do you think? Similar to the PS4 home screen, this will feel quite familiar. Panels to represent your games and other applications. There's also the explore section, which is very similar to the what's new section we currently use. The screen beneath each card is much cleaner now and less cluttered. And once again, tapping down on the controller opens up so much more goodness. We'll get to that in a moment. Before we move on from the home screen, check out the PlayStation Store. The big news here is that it's now fully integrated here. To remind you, on the PS4, it was a separate application. So if we wanted to use it, we were forced to wait. Back then that was acceptable, but now it's seven years later and we need a fully integrated digital store as that's where many of us buy our games. So let's move on to the control center and the word of the day is cards. By pressing the PlayStation button in game, you'll be met with this layout, a left to right scrolling deck of cards. PlayStation have focused on barriers to gamers in this generation and included quick glimpse cards to see your level progress and activities. A typical barrier many of us have is our time. Fitting in an hour of gaming on an evening before someone forces you off the TV or your designated time runs out. The first card we see here is the current mission progress this person is on, which is 33%, but the note underneath is what I want you to look at. The level, A Big Adventure, has about 10 minutes remaining. Here's the techie bit. The console constantly analyzes how you play games to tell you exactly how much time it expects you to complete the current mission. If you are someone who runs through games and doesn't pay attention to anything, or if you are someone who is quite methodical and looks around always, the PS5 will take this data and give you its predicted time to finish the objective you currently face. So the gamer in this demo knows if they have to leave the house in 20 minutes, they have more than enough time to finish their current goal and maybe get dressed too. So if a mission says two hours, maybe don't start it at 2am, but you do you, I'm not judging. That is not the limit on cards though, oh no no. By clicking on it, there is more info thrust upon us. This will be different for different games of course, but one of the priorities is to assist trophy hunters. As you know, the trophy system was recently updated and now on PS5, the games will help you pick up trophies. Letting you know there's a missable collectible on this stage, or even better still, check this out. A video can be played to help with the objective you are stuck on. You can watch it in game, no more searching Google for help and accidentally having the ending of the game spoiled or finding a bad guide and wasting hours of time. The game makers have the chance right here to help you out if they see fit. And if you think clicking between games and videos could be stressful, then this will help you no end. The video can be pinned using picture in picture. Impressive, right? Your game and the video you're following in the same screen. A good touch for gamers stuck and even better for those trophy hunters. And by the way, what is your trophy level? Feel free to flex in the comments below. Next, we saw the updated notification system, which builds on the limited interactivity on the PS4. As a friend request or invitation hits your screen, you'll quickly be able to instantly react, whether that's looking at who's in a party or instantly joining a friend. If we don't have a mic handy, it's not a problem, as the controller on the PlayStation 5 has an inbuilt microphone quickly calling out to a friend you need five minutes to finish what you're doing before grabbing a better microphone. And uh, I know this may be an issue, just in case you think having a microphone on the controller is worrying, it can also be muted. It's not a government conspiracy. Well, I, I don't think it is. It could be. It could. But let's just move on. Going back to the PS4 for a moment, did you ever watch streams there? I personally wasn't a fan, and it looks like many other gamers weren't too, but PlayStation have made note of this and updated the functionality. Gamers in the same chat can now screen share. If you spend much time on Discord, you've likely seen this in action. It's essentially like streaming, but to a smaller group of people, and not the entire globe. The PS5 has a cool little gimmick here. Watching a friend's gameplay can happen whilst you stay in your own game. 
it's another use of that card functionality, pinning the picture on screen or moving the card around to not interfere with your game. If you're waiting for a friend to finish, I don't know, a game of Rocket League before joining them, it's now super easy to keep an eye on them whilst not losing any time and keeping gaming. Or maybe you simply want to watch a friend play whilst you get some daily gaming grinding done. The possibilities are many. Back in Control Center, and once we are in a party, more options become available. For example, should a friend crack open a multiplayer game, the option to join them will be here. Hop in, and in a matter of seconds, you'll be in the game together. The final thing we saw was about media. As many of you know, the share button has evolved into the create button. And during this demo, a 4K photo was taken in game in real time before they all jumped into the game and started playing. What's interesting on this one is that recently created media, whether that's image or video, is available via the card system. Here, recently created. The photo then can be edited and text applied to it before sharing it to social media or to your friends. All without leaving the game you are in. And the final wow moment is linked to this. Remember the controller has a mic built in? Well, you can use that to dictate a message on the PS5. Oh, in fact, there's another thing. Damn, I should have said 13 things, oh well. If the friend you are sending the video or image to has not played the game or activity in question, the message will come with a spoiler warning. I love that. This is completely dictated by the developer of the game, who may feel spoiling a game boss is a big deal, and thus slapping a big spoiler warning over the top of it. Pretty damn cool. So there we have it, 12 things that I think are worth your attention about the PlayStation 5 user interface. I hope you found this useful, and if you're still here, please take this dad joke and wow your friends with it. Do you know what the last thing my grandfather said before he kicked the bucket? He said, grandson, watch how far I can kick this bucket. Sorry, not sorry. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.